Good morning, tells everyone. the same time. It tells <laughs> the same time. It is 8.51. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle are here with Country Wayne. He's headlining at the Funny Bone. He's going to be there tonight. He's going to be there tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss him. Don't worry about the weather outside. It's nice and warm in the Funny Bone, and all the drinks are nice and cold. Michelle. Yeah, that's there right. Yeah. Perfect environment there for some go. laughs. Yeah. And we are just talking about the fact that you're traveling here. You have a mm -hmm. whole crew that mm -hmm. travels with you, and you said that they're your brothers, which my, is kind of cool. I got cool. my brothers. I have my barber. And another comedian. Yes, we travel. Travel the whole gang. Travel the whole gang. Bring everybody. Mm -hmm. And and you said they have a truck that they bring things over to. You have a, a clothes it's, and it's a suburban truck. A suburban truck. Okay, that's yeah. fine. They bring everything. But but you mentioned food too, and I want to talk about this because uh, you uh, are a vegan. Yeah, I'm a vegan. And how long ago did you become a vegan? About four years. To be honest, the day I got off chicken, the next day I went viral. True story. Ask that guy. Oh, really? I went viral. It's a true story. My mom, when she had me, she say I didn't come out until she ate a piece of chicken. So when I went viral, I didn't go viral until the day I stopped eating chicken. Ain't that crazy? But it's difficult traveling around trying to find restaurants that, that follow your life. Yeah, it's difficult. It's like getting drugs. You know, it's difficult. Um, but it's <laughs> it's my drugs. So the feeling that it give me to be vegan is worth it. So. You know, when you really want something, it's like I got a, I got an advantage because mm -hmm. the energy that you get being vegan is just, man. Real. Are your brothers vegan, too? They tried there? it. Uh, <laughs> it's not for them. The steaks was calling them. The chicken, oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they tried it, though. But, you know, they have a different mission. See, I'm on the road. I'm on stage every night five times a week. So I need all the energy. You know, now you say you travel, and the reason we brought that up is because you say you travel, you have some food that comes mm -hmm. with you too. What, what's your go to food? Um, oh, I got a vegan chef. She cooked me spaghetti, everything that everybody else eats rice, black eyed peas, collard greens with the um, cornbread, just mm -hmm. don't have any meat products or dairy products in it. See, I, how can you eat collard greens without bacon? In huh? there? Collard greens without bacon. I, love I know, right? Collard greens and bacon is I'm a, awesome. I'm, I know. I'm a country boy. I ate it so much, I got tired of it. Yeah. Like, we ate rabbit. You ever ate rabbit? No. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Squirrel. No. no. See, I'm a squirrel. country boy. See, you're not from country. And, that, and, that's, and the, that's why you have country Wayne in your Country name. Wayne, because I'm really country. I'm from a town one red light. No way. Yes way. Yeah. All that right. way. That's yeah. how I had all them kids. We had no cable. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, do you like, do you still have a little bit of country life that you go back to? Y'all, y'all more I'm very country. Now. Yeah. I'm country now. Like I stick to myself. I'm not. I don't do too much. I don't party. You know. I, I just be chilling. Yeah. Like I'm real cool, calm, and collective until I touch that microphone. When I touch <laughs> that microphone, I'm on. Yeah, I'm you on. Light it up, huh? Yes. Yeah. But country. What about music? Music, man. I, you know, I listen to country music, R&B, my style. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a like laid back type of player, man. You know, to have that many kids, I didn't listen too much that kind of music. Yeah. I'm real smooth. All right. Now you <laughs> said at one time you're making three videos a day. Three um, videos a day. You getting them going? Do you, do you continue with that pace? I still do. About I'm back, right now, I'm at like three three a week. Three a week. But when I was consistent, I done, I put over two thousand videos up. So it's hard work. Yeah, oh no. It's question. hard work it's hard to. Work, um, yeah. You know, I gained like three million followers on one page on Facebook, six hundred thousand on the other, and one point uh, six on Instagram. So I'm like five million followers. But man, it, it's it was consistent work. It's just like anything. Yeah. Like when a raindrop hit the concrete, keep hitting, it's gonna put a dent in that concrete. Mm -hmm. So it's hard work, man. So you have to keep feeding it, right? You gotta keep feeding it. That's anything. Yeah. You stay consistent. <laughs> I don't care. Now, what has been what has been popular now? We we know what started everything. We knew about the first video. Mm -hmm. We got the ball rolling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try that one. Um, <laughs> but um, what what is real consistent now? What's 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 the hot button right now? Well, when, when Cowboys season, I'm a Cowboys fan. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> yes, I had to say it. It came. Out. Sometimes they come out from the chest or the throat. <laughs> I had to say it, but uh, when Cowboy season come, I, every, every after every game I do a video, so I got engagement on that. Um, and then I still do real life situations, so I do a video when, um, like the other day I did a video when somebody talking to you about something you really want to curse them out, but you need them. Mm -hmm. So I did. A, <laughs> I did a video of me and my brother driving. He preaching to me. I didn't want to hear it, but I'm in his car. I need a ride home. So That's I, true. Yeah. <laughs> Calm. I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, uh huh. But and so, you're recording the whole thing. As soon as we dropped me off, I told him my piece of my mind. Stop <laughs> preaching to me. You think you T.D. Jakes or Joel Osteen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, preach to you. So all of it, this is what people can expect from your show then. Yeah, right? when they, oh, the show, oh, oh, the show is the best kind of show. Oh, the show at the Funny Bone. You mean the, the, the City View best place to see a comedy yes, show? Yes, the show the is the best. Bone? It's the best show in the world. I'm yeah. not just saying that. You're going to get the best energy. It's clean comedy, and it's stuff you don't expect. 
All right. It's original. All right. We that need to get out awesome. and see it. So tonight and tomorrow night, folks, uh, Funny Bone, you know where the Funny Bone's located. Funny Bone dot, uh, actually, Des Moines dot, Funny Bone dot uh, com. And get all your ticket information there, too. And find out when you can get in. Country win. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. Man, thank, thank you so uh, much for you. being thank here, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. appreciate it. So nice in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back.